reconnect with the fans, Nigel, over the past year in particular? How pleased have you been with that? Actually, it's been great. It's been great. Uh, when when Dan McLennan from the from the uh, the fan from the fan forum said he wanted to do this, uh, put some banners up. I, 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 I sent him I sent him an email and said, uh, it's, when I first arrived at the club, the only banners that the fans were doing was sack the board, and now you're doing now you're doing banners to go in the stand. So we've achieved something. If and Dan had a laugh. Uh, so it is great, it is great. You could see the signs of this when we started with uh, the MK Dons game uh, a couple of years ago uh, and we had over 10,000 here. So you could see that there was a, that kind of thing growing. I think when we were going to have the Beach Boys game, again, you could see that there was something special coming along. Uh, but that was torn away from us. And I think even since then, I think with the team doing a little bit better and there being a better connection uh, between the team and the manager and the community, you could see it get you could see something building. And I think the fact that COVID has kind of dragged everybody to think, right, actually, this is really important. There's something that's stake here. We all need to pull together. I think that's been kind of the magic dust that's 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 really helped. So it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I can't wait to see the banners go up, and I think it's a, a a little a little indication of what the potential of this club is about. I know we've all seen it, and I'm sure the fans have know it, but it just kind of shows that there's something waiting to burst out here, which is really exciting, and we haven't kind of seen this for a while. So it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I suppose the challenge to us as the club is, is once we do get the fans back, we can start to do the community stuff, is not to let this go away. Yeah, I mean, you've talked about that a lot. Each group of players is different. And you've, you've before, even at the start of the season, when it got really difficult, you, you've talked to me about how, how they were a different breed uh, to some other groups. And the support that you were getting from them, so I've no doubt that once once we're able to do so, uh, it's going to be it's going to be really powerful, and we can really get out there and make a difference. We've been trying. We obviously we had the the the, the COVID testing station here for a long time during the summer, which 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 was good and helped everybody out. And then we've done other things in the community, uh, but there's so much more that we can do and want to do. And I think. Once we get to some degree of normality and we put COVID behind us, I think everybody will kind of re, re, have a rethink of what what's important to them, and I, and I think that things like that will will see a change and a positive change. That's one for me because I'm aware John Coleman's waiting and we're on a, a, a tight clock. You mentioned the catering the other day. You let the fans know that we were looking for a new way forward. Where are we at with that? Yeah, we we we. I did a deal with uh, a, ABM. Uh, obviously the, the catering business had gone away since March and was never going to come back and it isn't going to come back until this season so we might see what it's like in from August uh, so it was unviable for them to continue on that contract we released them from it which was a good deal for us and a good deal for them they were happy to do that and it gives us a chance to reevaluate. so we uh, looking at it with a clean slate previously the club's taken a quite a low risk approach He's taken guaranteed income and given the contract to someone else and let them earn profits off it and then shared in them. Uh, that has its advantages financially in terms of guaranteed income being low risk, but it can cause problems in terms of control and uh, ability to influence what happens on that contract. And in the end, uh, the, fans, the fans see it as a club contract and if it's not up to scratch, they, uh, they get on to me. So it's in my interest to have to have a good contract and good catering. I want it. We need to be better at it. And uh, we have constraints. There's no getting away from it. But we're looking to see what we can do differently. And as part of this kind of reconnection, the stuff that, started, as I say, started with the MK Dons, gone through the Beach Boys game, the reunited stuff with Kiosk, the fans in the stand, uh, the new banners. There's, there's little steps that are coming together now after a lot of a lot of uh, hard work over uh, quite a while uh, kind of coming together so I think they're all encouraging and I think the time's right for us maybe to to try a different way to some of these things 
we are a traditional club and changing things can be difficult, but maybe the time's right to do something different. Nigel, thanks for your time.